Hello there folks, these are the hands of me Dan Brown from a sort of interestinglife.com. We have here my current sort of organisational setup, which I am finally reinstating the good old A5 Domino Filofax into, which we will get onto in a moment. Now originally I filmed this video out on the little boat that I live on, and I really didn't like the second half of the video when we were looking in the Filofax. So first of all we're going to dive in and have a look at how I use my Midori Traveller's Notebook. And this I absolutely love, as you're about to see back on the boat. Then we shall cut back here and dive into the Filofax. So if you're a Filofax fan, then do not worry. We shall have a nice, hopefully well-lit background for a quick look in here. Anyway, over to the boat. This is what I have been using for the last year or so. And this is a Midori passport size traveller's notebook, where you can ins uh, change the inserted notebooks they're just held in by an elastic band. Don't worry for the you Filofax fans, we're not going to dwell too much on this. And we'll dive in and have a look at how I used to use this and how I'm going to use it going forwards. Um, but I just thought I'd show this because Midori isn't quite as well known as Filofax. But it certainly seems to be taking over and getting its own little cult, which I am a part. So yeah, you basically have all these little notebooks that you can attach in and out with these uh, elastic bands so they're nice and simple to change over. There's all sorts of different inserts and refills. How I use this personally is as a wallet. I normally have my bank cards and things like that in there. As you can see, it's got my business cards that promote the website right to you now. Um, so this obviously being my wallet is always with me and always about in my pocket or in my backpack. So that makes it perfect for having it as my general journal, as in a Dear Diary style journal, where I just well, write about things that I want to remember and things that have been going on and try and do, I'm terrible at painting and drawing. I have, I try and keep to one notebook per month. Uh, that's a good sort of amount to be able to write daily or not daily, depending on what you really want to be doing and how you really want to be uh, writing. Sometimes, I mean, for example, I've got Camping Trip here, which is written up and gets a good few pages, and obviously these little drawings that I try and throw in to liven things up and bring back these memories of when I was doing them and when I was writing and drawing, that sort of thing. And yeah, I really love having things like this to look back on, but it, of course, doesn't help you actually get organised and progress in life and keep up with what you want to be doing. So... That's the one notebook that I always have with me. The other notebook that I've been using recently is this, just a simple lined notebook. And these I use for shopping lists and general things like that. So I keep me tab there so I can easily, if I'm in a shop and can't remember what I want to be getting, it's a nice simple thing of flick open and say, oh yeah, I did want to get some water, some boots, waterproofer, some hooks a hard drive and some uh, tyres, <laughs> as well as a Filofax insert. So that obviously is a nice simple thing, if it's in my pocket anyway, use it for me shopping lists, bang, perfect. But I also use it for reference for things that, when I'm recording my videos, if there's stuff that I want uh, to talk about in certain videos, then I'll just note down the key sort of talking points. So obviously again, like Mango Bikes frequently ask questions, a lock disaster video, catch up video, and I just write down and keep notes of all these general things that I want to talk about in my videos. So that's the, my general use for this. Obviously as well, with it being a wallet, that's generally handy for keeping little bits of money and receipts and obviously my bank cards and ID and that in. Uh, yeah, so really, I absolutely love that. It's been with me for almost a year now, and my goodness me, the amount of these little books that I've got to look back on already, absolutely love it. One of the inserts that I was using in there, until I realised that I didn't really need constant reference, was this, the Free Diary, which basically is, as you can see, a month to view, but with no information filled in. So you can literally put the months in any order you want, or miss months out at a time, uh, obviously you have the days of the week in any order, all of that usual sort of thing. Nice, simple, straightforward, basic grid concept. The reason that I use this is because living on a boat, you aren't allowed to stay in the same area for any longer than 14 days. And I normally travel uh, every couple of days, as you can see, I mean this is last October, and I was zipping around sometimes doing little trips, uh, four days in a row there. And so obviously having a nice month to view record so that you can literally just 
simply look across and see, right, this is where the boat was here and then and why and how and all the rest of it. And then obviously over the times where I'm not moving, if I'm in a marina or if I've paid for winter mooring spots, then I can skip out months. So it goes here from November straight through till April. So obviously November was the beginning of winter mooring, so I wasn't moving the boat. And it was ridiculous to just waste pages by filling in blank things that didn't get used. So that's something that's a nice, simple, quick reference that I still keep on board and still use as my general boat movement tracker. Right then, on to the filer facts. First we'll dive in and have a quick look. This has still got a lot of the things that I had in it originally when I was first using the filer facts. And it's quite interesting to look back and see how I had it set up. I think I've actually got a proper use for a lot of these now. Picture of my friend in there. Yep, just checking that we were all still in shot. So basically, I use this pretty much as you would imagine you use the filer facts. But man, did I use it for a lot of stuff. I'm not intending to go quite so overboard and use it quite so obsessively this time, but you can see I had all of my little layered dot stickers, which I will definitely still be using, as well as an awful lot of these tabs and things as well. Absolutely love these little layer weird sort of plasticky waxy tab things. Anyway, moving swiftly on. So yeah, basically the green ones were things that were good, such as meeting up with my friends, payday for example. Blue was something to do with the boat, so moving the boat, boat jobs, filling up with water, all of those sorts of things. And red, red, my goodness me, if we go back to my very first sort of diving in of, goodness me, it must be two years ago now. I was uh, using these red tabs, this was just before I bought the boat, and I was using the red tabs to track literally everything. And then, I mean, everything that I did, like walking and biking, that sort of thing. So I had like a uh, bike to Western Rim, five miles, bike to Western Rim to Oswestry, five miles, uh, walked here, walked there, all of these sorts of things. Just huge, huge amounts of general detail that were completely unnecessary. But basically I used it for writing and planning everything for the next sort of week's worth of events. And that is something that I've been sorely missing in recent times as not only my YouTube and writing and um, podcasting taking a hold, but also getting more in depth into just trying to touch up the boat a little bit better and get a few things sorted. I'm in the middle of decorating and generally I've found that as a lot more stuff seems to be going on these days in my life, I've let it all get completely out of hand. But what I used to use all these tabs for as well, because I do an awful lot of writing, was like I'd have short stories, poems and things like that, and because I'm an absolute, I love writing on A5 sized sheets. I mean, even something like this, this is a Field Notes steno pad, which is very slightly longer than A5, but you get the basic principle. But I use tons and tons of A5 notebooks. In fact, let's just skip to my notebook collection for two seconds now. The majority of my collection has been put on this shelf, but as you've probably noticed, there's an awful lot of notebooks in various other videos of mine on the boat and there's all sorts of notebooks, but it's all of these A5 ones that I absolutely love most of all. Hopefully you enjoyed that random uh, sidetrack there, but as you can see, I use an awful lot of notebooks and do an awful lot of writing, and that's whether that's podcast scripts or video uh, plans, things like that, even when it comes to having an A4 sheet, as you can see, I still prefer to fold it in half and then write on it as if it's two, uh, two A5 sheets which again, because of it being the same size folded up as the A5 Filofax, with the help of my handy WH Smith hole punch ruler, I can obviously punch these and then keep everything all in order and all in track, which is what I'll start to fill in these tabs with. Once again as well, having something on the back as of this, such as the uh, flip notebook, that's been something I've used a huge amount in the past and certainly will be probably instead of the steno pad in times to come. But just flicking through, I obviously, expenses are something that I want to keep a better tab on as well now, so I can see where my money is disappearing to. But because originally I was using this to try and build my reference and internet without access to the internet, I was creating things like this, which were little plans of uh, distances between different areas that I might be bike riding, and roughly how long it might take me to get to those places. I mean, so, for example, if I started out from Oswestry and went to Western Rin, that would be five miles, and then 
might meet me friend and we both hop on our bikes and go to Glencariog, which would be another seven miles. To go to Lansilling from Glencariog, that's another eight miles and 6.3 miles back to Oswald Street. So you can start to plan out these routes. I think I'm going to work on another one of those, maybe smaller scale with more places on. And yeah, I basically just have tons of all these different bits and pieces and all of this like random little bits of A5 paper that I would be writing on. Yeah, ultimately, well, I think it sums up when I've got scraps of paper like that with stuff written on. I really do, just any time that the moment and the mood might take me. I love to just start writing random ideas out and hopefully get something sensible that I can use in the future down on the paper. And obviously being able to just hole punch everything, stick it all in here, keep it all in order. I'm hoping that that's going to be something that goes on to be a very useful thing for me when it comes to right then. I've been writing away and not really putting anything down into a larger work. Oh, hopefully I'll be able to point to here and go, oh yeah, they don't worry because it's all in order and all sectioned off correctly in this. It never will be, but we can dream. So yes, the plan is Midori for looking back to the past and remembering things, or things that are necessary to have in my pocket, such as shopping lists, and Filofax for looking ahead, planning, and actually starting to try and get all of my videos and all of me YouTubing and writing and that into some sort of order where I can say, right then, from now on, this is how it's going to be. This video will be out this time. This video will be out here. Oh, I haven't done a biking video for a while. I haven't done a kayak video for a while. And hopefully everything's all going to find itself falling in order. So I'm going to dive in and start sorting out all of my new diary and writing a few dates down. Sort out some of the clutter and hopefully have a nice working organisation set up very soon. Until the next time, check out my other videos for a huge amount of notebook and organiser videos, an awful lot of narrowboat and boat life videos and scenery, all that sort of stuff. Like walking up mountains, kayaking, biking, boating, all that sort of general outdoors videos. So, feel free to subscribe, like the Facebook page, feel free to add me personally on Facebook and Twitter, and until the next time, have a fantastic day, and I hope to see you around soon. Farewell.